Welcome to the Drum My Life with Miguel de Cervantes. According to the writings, he was born on the 29th of September in 1547 in Alcalde Henares, the place where the third Spanish university had been founded in 1508. Miguel would be the sixth of the seven children that Rodrigo de Cervantes Arvidre and Leonor Cortinas had. His father was a barber surgeon, which led him to spend his childhood in the vast majority of Castilian cities. Precisely, they would end up moving to Valladolid, one of the most important. The deaths, however, would lead to jail in 1552. Two years later in Córdoba, Miguel entered the Jesuit College. Soon he would begin to show himself as a seasoned reader, demonstrating that money and culture do not have to go hand in hand. At the age of 16, Miguel, who was already showing himself as a shy and stuttering boy, went regularly to the performances of the popular Lopterita. A short time later, and after passing through Seville, the Cervantes would return to Madrid, which had been declared capital by Felipe II, and which had undergone rapid growth in those years. In 1569, Cervantes was arrested in Madrid and sentenced to the amputation of his right hand for injuring Antonio de Segura. A complaint applied for using weapons in the vicinity of the royal residence, although it is not clear if they ever applied it. Probably for this he would leave for Italy, and enlist in the company of Don Diego Arena. At the age of 24, Cervantes would participate in the Battle of Lamento, being a part of the Holy Alliance. But despite the victory, he received some injuries that rendered his left hand useless. At that time, Lamento de Lamento was born. But his misfortunes did not end there. Upon returning home, the ship in which he was traveling was boarded by Turkish pirates, who took him prisoner with his brother Rodrigo and sold them as slaves later in Algiers. But sisters would get to pay the ransom of their brother Rodrigo, who would leave Algiers in 1577. Miguel, on the other hand, would try to escape without success, up to for times. From that experience, two of his works would emerge, the deals of Algiers and the baths of Algiers. In September 1579, his mother managed to gather for 175 shields, which she handed over to the Council of the Crusades. The friars managed to reach 500 necessary to pay the ransom. And in 1580, Miguel de Cervantes ended his five years of captivity in Algiers. On his return to Spain, he will maintain relations with a young married woman, Ana de Villafranca, also known as Ana de Rose. With her, he would have a daughter named Isabel. And then at 37 years old, Cervantes would marry his girlfriend, Catalina de Salazar Rocalicius. In 1585, he wrote La Gravitia. A pastoral model depicting the shepherds, in love with a beautiful shepherdess named Carolatia, who nevertheless values her spiritual independence too much. Cervantes always intended to make a second part, although he always remained with the desire. He began to write comedies, although his style was somewhat obsolete, in front of Lope de Vica, with whom he would maintain a permanent duel, and who would be his neighbor in the Barrio de las Letras in Madrid. However, fortune still did not smile at Cervantes found himself in prison on more than one occasion. Also, economic problems always haunted him. It was in that time of hardship when he probably began to write the first lines that we all know. In 1609, he entered the Brotherhood of the Slaves of the Most Holy Sacrament, to which Lope de Vigan or Veda also belonged. He began to write the exemplary novels that appear in 1613. Journey of the Parnassus that would come out a year later and the comedies and interludes. The same year for Cervantes, you would see how certain Alonso Fernandez de Valenida signed the second part of Don Quixote, an imposter for Cervantes, who months before his death, would publish the ingenious night Don Quixote, Don Ancha, the second part of the work. Cervantes exhaled his last puff of air, and passed history as one of the greatest authors, who would be buried on April 23, 1616. And exactly the same day, of the same year, William Shakespeare also passed away. Precisely for that reason, it was the day chosen to commemorate World Book Day. However, this is not entirely accurate, and it is that neither of them died that day. Cervantes did it a day before, and at that time, it was governed by the Julian calendar, so Shakespeare's death actually occurred on May 3rd, 1616. We will never close a chapter without learning something. And this has been Miguel de Cervantes' Draw My Life. If you liked it, give it a like and share it. 
and comment on what you want our next drama life to be. Old happy world book day.